So I've listed here some in an outline form, uh, some of my feedback. And uh, the first thing I would uh, ask that you do is to review again the question. So the question is, if friends from another country were going to spend time in your country, what city or place would you suggest they visit? Using details and examples, explain why. Now notice that the question is asking for one city or one place. So the first thing I would like for you to do is when you go back and you listen to your response is to ask yourself, did you provide one city or one place? <clears throat> Notice it's not asking for a variety of places. Notice that it's not asking for specific types of places like beaches without mentioning the specific place where, for example, the beach could be found. Right. So notice that in addition to asking for one place, right, if you were going to choose one place or one city, what kind of details and examples did you provide in your response? How many details or how many examples did you provide? And how many reasons did you include for each of the examples that you provided? So keep that in mind. Pay close attention when you're taking notes at the time of listening to the prompt or listening to the question. Make sure that you're thinking very carefully about what it is you're being asked. And make sure that when you begin preparing for your response but while taking notes that you're addressing specifically the question. All right, so I have divided up my feedback into one, two, three, four, actually three different sections. And for Certain, there are certain uh, phrases, I think, that are appropriate for this type of question, and uh, the two that came to mind would be, number one, I would recommend, right? You could begin by saying, I would recommend visiting Aguas Calientes, right? And you could say, it's a hard choice, but maybe I would take them to a certain place, right? That would be another option of beginning your response. But try to avoid, uh, I've got a list of things here that you might want to try to avoid in your response. And a lot of these were taken from examples as I was listening to your responses. Try to avoid saying it's difficult to say. Try to avoid things like, well, how do you say, like if you're saying this in Spanish, how do you say this? I don't know how to say this. It's okay to mention certain places and use uh, maybe say the word or the, uh, the, t the name of the place in Spanish as long as it doesn't interfere with what you're trying to say and also as you're explaining there that the meaning or the message is clear and it doesn't get, uh, it doesn't get lost. So I don't know how to say this. I would try to avoid that. I think, I think, I think, I think. You know, you can avoid in most cases saying I think because everything that you're saying is what you think. It's obvious that what you're saying is what you think. So you can avoid that for the most part. Uh, let's see, speaking about what you don't know much about. So make sure that you're choosing something that you know something about. Maybe you haven't visited the place, but you know something about it. So you can talk about it and describe the examples, explain why it would be a good place to visit not necessary that you have visited the place. Of course, if you have visited the place, you can mention that. But again, this is not so much you telling a story about your visit, right? So I think later on I've included in this list that it's um, really off topic whether or not you visited the place. Uh, stick to the details and the examples of the place, the one place that you chose and provide reasons why someone should visit that place. Uh, let's see, how long does it take you to... Yeah, so go back and look how long it takes you to state the one place or the one city. In some of your cases, uh, some of you chose more than one place. Right, so how long does it take you to choose the place that, you're, that you end up Providing details and examples. Which place of the two or three or four places that you mentioned 
which one did you provide more details? Which one did you provide the best details, the best examples, or the best reasons why? Right? So again, the question is asking for you to choose one place or one city only. Uh, avoid phrases like, I have gone there. Again, it's just a little bit off topic, right? This is more about you recommending a place. I would take him, all right, be careful in this case, uh, the pronoun him, since the the gender really is is not important um, in, in terms of stating him or her, you could just say, I would take my friends to, or I would take a friend to this place, right? You can singular or plural, but you could refer to a uh, person as your friend. Uh, let's see, things and things like that, or th things like that, you can avoid the, those types of phrases. I haven't been on a lot of trips. Again, don't feel like you need to say that. That's a, it's off topic. I've been there once before. You, that's off topic. Try to avoid and things and stuff and things and stuff or stuff like that. You can avoid those. I've lived in many cities. Again, off topic. There are many places, but I, if I had to choose one, um, yeah, I mean, it's this isn't bad if if it's just a one off. It's just you begin your answer saying this, and then the rest of it is. Um, you know, about the details and the examples and reasons. But just try to avoid, again, your mentioning, well, I've been here, I've been there, I haven't been this place. It's not so much where you've been, it's just what do you recommend, right? And, and again, it doesn't matter if you've been there or not, it's what you know about the place, what, you can, what can you recommend, and at the moment, trying to choose the place that you know that, uh, you know enough to be able to provide examples and reasons why. I would re uh, recommend that you visit some Mexican restaurants. So in this particular case, right, we don't want to mention that we recommend that you visit Mexican restaurants without mentioning the place. And I think this was the reason why I included this, because I think the speaker didn't mention the place, right, the city or or the place where uh, the person can could uh, visit a Mexican restaurant. There's nothing wrong with visiting a Mexican restaurant. If you can mention the Mexican restaurant by name, right, at a particular city, that's perfectly acceptable. That's a good example. But we don't want to mention in general, oh, you can, me you can visit Mexican restaurants without mentioning the city. People always say it's beautiful. So try to avoid these phrases if you don't provide follow-up examples. People say it's always beautiful, but you don't provide details to what is uh, what you consider beautiful or what people consider beautiful. I would take you to the beaches. Again, without mentioning the place, we don't want to mention generally right, uh, all the beaches in Mexico. Again, the question is, Find a place, recommend one place or one city. We want to avoid phrases like obviously and of course. Okay, so again, this has to do more with tone, but it's not really necessary to say, well, obviously this, because it's not really obvious for the person uh, that you're, um, you know, the, your audience. You're recommending, you're, you could be talking to a friend and you're trying to recommend a place that they're not familiar with. Well, it's not going to be obvious to them what you're talking about because they're not probably going to be familiar with the place. Same way with the phrase, of course. I don't know if you've seen pictures. Again, it's a little bit off topic. Right? Again, just stick to the place, stick to the examples, stick to the reasons. I would tell them, I would take them, I would uh, avoid repeating these phrases, again, just stick to what the place is you know, and what are the examples, where would you take them, why are those good places to take them. There are a lot of places to visit, again, a little bit off topic. When I went, it was amazing. Again, it's not so much your experience. It's not The question's not so much about recalling a past experience of you living in that place or visiting that place. It's more about what can you recommend, 
What's the one place and what two or three, maybe four examples can you provide and what reasons for each of the three, two to three or four examples can you uh, provide? All right, in terms of pronunciation, be careful with the words cathedral, Christ, especially, images, interesting, and museums. Those were a couple of some words that came up. And I think that's it. All right. So double check. Uh, again, if you have a chance to look at your response before class and to, when we get into class, we'll be doing a specific activity where I'll be asking you to consider the things that I'm talking about here today. And uh, we'll work together on completing a self-assessment uh, sheet or document that will help us kind of reflect a little bit more on our own performance.